let us look at uh, this question <coughs> solve tan squared x is equal to 4 and you want to find x between 0 to uh, 2 pi in the previous square video uh, I didn't give you the answers in radians the question was in you have to answer in radians so if you want to simply change this into radians it's very simple uh, the rule is you should be knowing that pi uh, 180 degrees 180 degrees is pi radians okay or radius so one degree is pi by 180 radius okay so this is a simple rule if you if you have one degree if you know the, this formula one degree is pi by 180 so this is nothing but 7.2 times pi over 180 so let me show you on a calculator so basically you go 7.2 pi you don't need to do this is 7.2 pi divided by 180 which is 0 0.12 or 13 into dp this is 0 0.13 and this is same as 172.8 pi over 180 that you can do yourself now okay moving on to this question tan squared x is 4 and you want to find x between 0 and 2 pi as I usually do I like to think in degrees I've first drawn the tan graph so tan x or taking square root of both sides square root of tan squared x is equal to square root of 4 now this is where most of you can do wrong what is square root of x 4 square root of 4 is not only 2 by default it is 2 but the complete truth is plus or minus 2 so here uh, this should be x so square root of 10 squared x is 10 x and square root of plus 4 is or 4 is plus or minus 2 and now you have to split this into two parts one is 10 x is plus 2 or 10 x is equal to so first I'll explain this in a graphical way so basically this this part of the example means when is your tan x becoming plus 2 so let me draw this is your plus 2 so this is where I'll draw these are two places where tan x is becoming plus 2 so this is one angle okay one x and this is your other x okay so this is so let me name this as say x1 and so this is your x2 okay so this is this this distance as it is symmetrical as this distance is same as this distance okay, the distance from year to year is the same as the distance it doesn't look to be in this because we have not drawn the exact graph so if you understand symmetry this is asymptote so this is whatever distance is from 90 the same distance you will have uh, from 270 okay so I'll first find uh, your principal angle so x our uh, principal angle is tan inverse of 2 okay so x the principal angle so first I'll see whether my calculator you now it's in radians I'll first change into uh, degrees and then I go shift tan of 2 ultimately uh, change this into radians so this is 63.4 degrees 63.4 degrees so let me write that so your 63.4 degrees now this is in the first quadrant so your principal angle and x1 are the same so I can say x1 is 63.4 degrees so if this is 63 away uh, so this is how many how much away this is a bit difficult uh, <clears throat> you can also okay I think so let's try okay so if this is 63 away from uh, if you consider this from if, if it is 63 away from 0 this should be 63 away from 360 so I'm making a guess so let's see so x2 would be 360 minus uh, 
no that would not work it's not on symmetry sorry so this is uh, this is how much so this is let me do this in the bracket so this is uh, 63 from 0 so this is how much away from 90 so let me use a calculator so 90 minus 63.4 which is 26.6 so I'll use that yes I'll write that in the bracket 26 point so this is 26.6 degrees away from 90 degrees so this will also be 26.6 degrees away from or to the left of 270 so x2 will be 270 minus 26.6 I'll have to confirm. Okay, so that is 270 minus 26.6. So the other angle is 243.4 degrees. So let me confirm 243.4 degrees. So this is your x1 and this is your x2. So let us graph this. Go to graph and we got, so let me delete it and again type in 10, 10x. And I should change the, uh, I will have to change degrees, so 0 to 360. And I'll change this to say minus 3 to 3, because I want up to go up to 2. And then draw it. So G sol <coughs> x calc is, how much was the value? 2, yeah. So if you put y is 2, 63.4 degrees, okay. Is that right? Yeah. So one answer is 63.4 degree. And the other answer would be, let's try. Yeah, I'm right. So 243.4 degree is the other answer. Okay. So now let me, before I forget, so let me change this into radians. So this is nothing but 63.6 pi over 180. You can leave this as the answer. This is good enough. Okay. Or you can use a calculator to figure this out. And this is same as 243.4 pi over 180 okay so these are these are x1 and x2 so let me also find what uh, the other two so for this uh, again I'll have to draw so here when the question is for this part when is your tan x negative 2 so this is these are the two angles so this is negative 2 at this point okay and at this point so by using symmetry i'm making a guess this is 26.6 x1 is 26.6 degrees to the left of 90 so this should be 26.6 degrees to the right okay so this is so i can directly so if this is say x3 and this is x4 so this is 26.6 degrees to the right of so let's first do it so this is x is 10 inverse of negative 2 okay so let's use a calculator let us move this on this side menu run so shift 10 inverse of negative 2 so i'm making a guess this should be 90 plus 26.6 so let's see minus 63 that is this angle calculator is giving you this angle minus 63 so if you go 360 minus uh, 63.4 will give you 296 okay so uh, one answer okay so one answer x4 is 296.6 uh, I hope I'm clear. 296.296.6. So one angle is 296.6. 6 degrees. Okay, so that is. So let us check this on a calculator. So this is a 270. So if you go 270 plus 26.6 degrees, that's uh, my guess was right. So this is 270 plus. 26.6 and the other angle I'm making a x3 would be 90 plus 26.6 we'll confirm this on a calculator so 90 
Am I right? Yeah, so 90 plus 26.6 degrees it is 116.6 degrees which is 116.6 degrees so if you want to change this into uh, so this is nothing if you want to change this into radians this is 296.6 pi over 180 and this is 116.6 pi over 180 so let us check all these four answers. So let us write all the four answers. So x1 in degrees is 63.4 degrees. Uh, so let's only write not in x1, x2. So let's only write the x's. So the x's in ascending order is 63.4 degrees. Then you have got 243.4 degrees. Then you have got from here. How many degrees? 116.6 degrees and finally 296.6 degrees. So let's check this on a calculator. So go to graph. Mm, let me move this to this side. I think you can see now. Graph 10x. So G sol. So x calc for 2. We already confirmed that. 63.4 degrees. And the other angle is 243.4. Again, G sol, and if you type in negative 2 for the second group of answers, 116.6, and the other angle is 296.6. See you in the next video.